Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reacts, and today I have a David Strassman reaction video for you. And in this one, he's with his dummy Chuck, and Chuck wants to prove his, prove that he has what it takes to be a real boy. And I've I've watched a couple of David Strassman, but not with Chuck alone. That Chuck's been in, and he's had a couple of lines here and there, but not nothing that's been focused mainly around Chuck. So I'm looking forward to this, and I can't think of many other ventriloquists that swear. And I know that David Strassman does, and I know that Chuck's probably the main culprit for it. But yeah, so I really, really am looking forward to this. If you're a David Strassman fan and there's any other videos on YouTube that you want me to react to, then let me know in the comments down below and I will get around to doing it. But until then, let's get into this. I'm looking forward to it. People are always coming up and asking me to use deodorant. Quiet. <laughs> You know, the question I get asked all the time is how I got started. It was a hot summer night. His parents are drunk in the backseat of the car. Now that car was shaken. Would you stop it? <laughs> no, Chuck, they want to know how I got started, how you and I first met. Oh, that's right. His psychiatrist thought it'd be great therapy to control his anger. Would you just shut up? Didn't work, did it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how we met. 25 years ago in an old dusty secondhand store in New York City, I was rummaging through some, some junk when I came across Chuck. Oh, I just killed this guy and I was hiding in a suitcase. <laughs> what? Got a problem with that? <laughs> no. Anyway, uh, he asked me, want to be in showbiz, you know? Fame, fortune, drugs, rehab. So I said yes, <laughs> which is great to me. It's been a long time since I've been with a ventriloquist. What? I'm not your first? Well, he could pretend. I'll cry and act like it hurts. <laughs> oh, you're the best day. The oh, knock it off. <laughs> I'm not your first ventriloquist? No way, dude. I've been around a thousand years. Who was your first ventriloquist? Satan. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I mean Adam. Yes, I get the two confused. <laughs> Adam? You mean like Adam and Eve, Adam? Everything is going great till she comes along. Why, what happened? Figure it out, she's a naked chick, I'm a puppet, what the hell would you do? <laughs> Who else have you worked with? Oh man, there's uh, Marcus Aurelius, uh, G Genghis Khan, Galileo, Joan of Arc, all those people you've, you've worked with, yeah. Joan of Arc, yeah. What would you learn from her? That wood burns. <laughs> Oh, this is just kind of a shock, you know. I, I thought I was your first. I don't feel so special, Chuck. Oh, you're special, Dave. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because you're my last. What? Because once you stick your hand up my ass, you're stuck with me forever. <laughs> Try and get it out. <laughs> you let go. No. <laughs> you let go. No. Pretty good muscle, huh? <laughs> you let go. I could, then I had to kill you. Oh, then what are you gonna do once I'm dead, huh? Go into business for myself. Yeah, stalking stalkers. All right, come on, leave him alone. <laughs> Get out, Chuck, leave the guy alone. I don't want you here, Chuck. I see dead people. <laughs> All right, come on. What is your problem tonight, huh? I know what my problem is. Yeah, come here. What? Come here. What? Closer. What? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the hell did you do that for? Because you never listen to me anymore. Oh. Piss off. <laughs> what do you I was like, I don't know. I'm like, what am I? I'm... I'm a third of the way through this. I was expecting it to be funnier. There's there's a few funny moments in it, but I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting from this one, to be honest. I, I was expecting a little bit more, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that it picks up a bit more. That That's the thing with ventriloquism, that it is the case that like, I really do like Jeff Dunham. And like I, I think, was it Paul Zerdin that I was watching? I really do like some of his stuff. And there's others that I need to watch as well, but they're not all going to entertain me as much but david sorry david stressman has in previous videos so i can't understand why this i was looking forward to this one as well it's just not hitting it's not hitting the mark as it should but hopefully it picks up piss off 
What do you want this time, Chuck? I wanted the real boy. Oh, God, this again. I'm sick of being a stinking puppet. That's what you are, man. Face it, all right? I want to do the things a real boy can do. I want to, I want to steal a car and crash it. <laughs> I want to set fire to shit. You know something? <laughs> You want to become human, grow up, get a job, get married? No! I want to live on the dole and pick up hookers. <laughs> you say you want to be a real boy, but you lack the basic human qualities like, like compassion and gratitude. I have those qualities. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel sorry for this guy here, and I'm grateful I'm not him. <laughs> Why don't you be grateful for what you have? Oh, like my kid brother, huh? They cut him down and made him into a chair. Can you imagine his life? People sitting on your face all day long. <laughs> I might like that. Chuck. <laughs> it's not fair, man. I want to be alive 24 hours a day, not just when you decide to pick my ass up. <laughs> yeah? Well, well, you know something, Chuck? I want to be a real boy. You sound like Pinocchio. Pinocchio. My hero. <laughs> he was lucky. He had Geppetto, and I got Stupetto. <laughs> How you gonna do it? How you gonna turn into a real boy? Eh? Answer me that, huh? Plan A. I'll summon the blue fairy. She'll turn me into a real live boy, just like Pinocchio. The blue fairy. Chuck, you're living in a dream world. Huh? There's no such thing as a blue fairy. Huh? <laughs> Pinocchio's a, a fictional story. Huh? I mean, face it, you're a puppet, I'm a ventriloquist, I make you talk. Oh, that's great. Fuck up the illusion for the audience here. <laughs> you might as well go home now. You know how it's done. He makes me talk. I didn't know that. Shut up. I'm wishing for her. There is no blue fairy, Chuck. Do you hear her? I don't hear anything. All I know is we've got an audience out there and a show to do. Holy shit, it is working. <laughs> you mean to tell me? Shut up! She's here because I called for her. She's going to grant my wish. Blue fairy. Blue fairy with your magic spell. Blue fairy, blue fairy, take me out of this hell. Blue fairy, blue fairy, make me a real boy soon. Blue fairy, blue fairy, meet me in my bedroom. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah, well, you know, I think he just pissed her off. He's a stuck-up bitch anyway. <laughs> Chuck, why don't you just accept your situation? Let's get on with the show, okay? Accept my situation? Yes. Let's see. I'm a figment of your imagination, and this loser is stalking me! Chuck. Get out. This is not funny. I will take your soul. Chuck, please. <laughs> well, you think it's all part of the show, don't you, mister? Come on, Chuck. Leave him alone, all right? I said get out now. Chuck, I'm warning you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's clever. <cool. laughs> Actually, got the stop it right now. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, aren't you, pal? Huh? <laughs> no, Chuck. <laughs> hey, you get rid of that right now. I said, get rid of it. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 Chuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care what it is. You listen here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What the hell's the matter with you, huh? Now we're in the middle of the show. Oh, Jesus! Okay, that's enough, man. Now listen, Chuck. You listen. Oh, okay, that's enough. Come on, As Chuck. The, I've not actually seen that. So that I've not actually seen a ventriloquist with a dummy that's actually had things coming out of the mouth like that, especially like spit and vomit and things like that. That's phlegm, shall I say. That's, that's clever. Okay. You listen here, man. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <sighs> uh... Can't believe you're in the middle of a show in front of all these people and you gotta go and get sick on me right now. Oh, no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I got my shoes. <laughs> You're a sick little puppet boy. I know. 
You've ruined my show. I know. <laughs> You're grounded. I what? <laughs> you can't do that. Why not? I know where you live. Oh please! I don't like your behavior or your attitude. You're being punished right now. Peter, bring on the timeout chair right now. What? Oh wait a minute, Nan. I don't. Hey, fuck you, Nan. <laughs> no, fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> You're being punished right now. Peter, bring on the timeout chair. Right now. What? Oh, wait a minute, Nan. I don't... Hey, fuck you, Nan. No, fuck you! No, fuck you! Hey, fuck you! Stop it! Piece of shit! Hey! <laughs> That's the... <laughs> I love ventriloquism because it is the case that, like, you, 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 you come away from the fact that, like, it, it's, it's Dave... Dave, David, <laughs> like obviously it's David doing the voice and that, but you get so indulged in it that you don't remember that as you're watching. And yeah, he... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that reaction from this puppet. I really wasn't. I want to watch that part again. Right now, Peter, bring on the timeout chair. Right now. What? Oh, wait a minute, Nan. I don't... Hey, fuck you, Nan. <laughs> no, fuck you. No, fuck you. Hey. He says, shit, hey. You know, sit in that chair until you learn to behave yourself and control your filthy little mouth. I don't want to sit in that goddamn girly chair. <laughs> oh, shit, I said, goddamn. That's enough. Goddamn, I said, shit, Chuck. <laughs> Did I say fuck yet? That's it. <laughs> no, I don't want to sit here. This is humiliating. You shut up and listen to me. You look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Are you going to sit in this chair? You're going to behave yourself. You're going to shut up, shape up, or ship out. Say it, don't stray it. <laughs> you can forget about your birthday party tomorrow. <laughs> He's a puppet for Christ's sake. <laughs> He's a puppet. I, please. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. That, like, there's... It is obviously the case that there's other ventriloquists out there that I find funnier, that I, I, I find that I laugh more through. But when it comes to David, he's different. He's different to what I usually watch, and I do enjoy it. And I, I do like the fact that, like, he swears a lot more with his puppets. And, like, for Chuck, that he's, he's he has a lot of potential with that character that he may have already done. I just haven't seen yet, but... Yeah, there's, I think there's a lot that he can do with that character. This one I've actually seen. Teddy Bear wonders if his fur makes him look fat. I've seen, I've done this one on the channel already. But yeah, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It's just, like I said, it's different to the ventriloquism that I usually watch. But I'm looking forward to watching more of him. So that's where you come in. If there's any other, especially with Chuck, if there's any other videos that he's got online with him and Chuck that you think are funnier than this one, then please do let me know in the comments down below and I will get round to reacting to it. But until then, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave all of your comments in the, leave all your requests in the comments down below. Until next time, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. See you in the next one.